ஹாய் வெல்கம் டு சுனில் மேத்ஸ் டியூட்டோரியல் கால்வாய்ஸ் தேரி கிளாஸ் நம்பர் எயிட் இன் திஸ் வீடியோ வி லேர்ன் க்ரொனேக்கர்ஸ் தேரம் அண்ட் தென் வி லேர்ன் ஒன் இம்பார்ட்டண்ட் ரிசல்ட் அண்ட் வி சி ஒன் மோர் எக்ஸாம்பிள் லெட் அஸ் சி த ஸ்டேட்மெண்ட் ஆஃப் க்ரொனேக்கர்ஸ் தேரம் சப்போஸ் எஃப் ஆஃப் எக்ஸ் பிலாங்ஸ் டு கேபிட்டல் எஃப் ஆஃப் எக்ஸ் பி எ நான் கான்ஸ்டன்ட் பாலினாமியல் தென் தேர் எக்ஸிஸ்ட் அண்ட் எக்ஸ்டென்ஷன் இ ஆஃப் எஃப் இன் விச் எஃப் ஆஃப் எக்ஸ் ஹேஸ் ஏ ரூட் லெட் அஸ் ப்ரூவ் திஸ் statement this statement is known as kronecker's theorem so right here f of x belongs to capital f of x is a non constant polynomial f of x is a non constant polynomial and where capital f of x is the polynomial ring or it is also known as ring of polynomials ring of polynomials over the field capital f so small f of x is a polynomial capital f of x is a ring of polynomials suppose suppose f of x has a root in the field capital f suppose if we assume that f of x has a root in the field capital f then there is nothing to prove the extension field e is equals to f so you have to assume that f of x has no root in capital f that is case number 2 here you observe that in case 1 in case 1 we take in case 1 we take that the polynomial f of x has a root so if it has a root then the extension field also equivalent to f it means extension field is nothing but f let us see case 2 in case 2 we assume that f of x has no root in capital f so the polynomial has no root in over capital f what it means f of x is irreducible f of x is irreducible over capital f the polynomial f of x is irreducible over capital f in the previous video we learn a statement whenever the polynomial f of x is irreducible over the field capital f then there must be an extension field there exists an extension e in which f of x has a root so here also the polynomial f of x is the polynomial f of x is irreducible polynomial over the field capital f so f of x is reducible over the polynomial ring capital f of x because we know that f is subset to capital f of x so after that here that f of x is that f of x is reducible in the polynomial ring capital f of x so what is the definition of reducibility reducible means the polynomial f of x can be written as the product of two non constant polynomials reducible means there must be the polynomial must be written as product of two non constant polynomials it means f of x is equals to p of x into g of x where both p of x comma g of x belongs to capital f of x so let us assume that p of x be the irreducible irreducible factor p of x be the irreducible factor among the two factors we have two factors p of x and g of x are factors of f of x we assume that p of x be the irreducible factor if p of x is irreducible factor then by previous theorem capital f of x by generator p of x capital f of x by generator p of x becomes a field becomes a field so there must be this capital f of x by generator p of x becomes extension to the field capital f so you observe that let us take let us take capital e is equals to capital f of x by generator p of x generator p of x be the extension field be the extension field of capital f be the extension field of capital f now we assume that we assume that the polynomial p of x has a root 
द पॉलिनामियल पी एफ एक्स हैज ए रूट इन कैपिटल की लेटेस्ट टेक द पॉलिनामियल पी एफ एक्स हैज ए रूट इन कैपिटल ई एंड लेटेस्ट से दैट रूट इज यू से इट इज यू दैट इज दैट इज पी एफ यू इज इक्वल्स टू जीरो इन कैपिटल ई पी एफ यू इज इक्वल्स टू जीरो नाउ वाट अबाउट एफ ऑफ एक् यू बिकॉज ऑफ अवर रेड्यूजबल डेफिनेशन एफ ऑफ एक्स कैन बी रिटर्न एज पी एफ एक्स इंटू जी एफ एक्स सो एफ ऑफ यू कैन बी रिटर्न एज पी एफ यू इंटू जी एफ यू सो दिस इज नथिंग बट जीरो इंटू जी एफ यू जीरो इंटू एनी थिंग बिकम्स जीरो सो एफ ऑफ यू इज ईक्वल्स टू जीरो एफ ऑफ यू इज ईक्वल्स टू जीरो मीन्स द एलिमेंट यू is a root of f of x is a root of f of x in the extension field capital e where remember that that extension field is nothing but generator capital f of x by generator p of x which is a field so u is a root of f of x in capital e now what it means u is a root of f of x means there is an extension e of capital f in which the polynomial has a root so this completes the proof of the kronecker's theorem let us see the statement again f of x belongs to capital f of x be a non constant polynomial then there must be an extension e of f in which f of x has a root whether the polynomial is reducible or irreducible then there must be an extension remember that there is one very very important result it is also one of the theorem but without proof you just learn the statement that's it let p of x be an irreducible polynomial defined in the polynomial ring capital f of x and u be the root of p of x in an extension e of f then there must there are two conditions to remember f of u which is the subfield of capital e generated by f and u f of u i mean f of u is an extension of f f of u is an extension of f and it is the subfield of e it is the subfield of e generated by f and u generated by f and u such that capital f of u is equals to the set of all polynomials which are in this form b0 plus b1 u and so on plus bm u power m where b0 plus b1 x and so on bm x power m belongs to capital f of x because the degree of the polynomial is n the degree of the p of x is n then the set 1 comma u comma u square and so on u power n minus 1 forms a basis for the field f of u over capital f forms a field over the field capital f and each it forms a basis basis means it is linearly independent set as well as it spans the vector space what it means each element of f of u can be written as uniquely written as c0 plus c1 u plus and so on c2 u square plus and so on cn minus 1 u power n minus 1 such that and the very very important result is the dimension of f of u over f is equals to n so to understand this uh, polynomial i can explain here 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 p of x is irreducible p of x is irreducible polynomial over capital f or in capital f of x p of x is irreducible in capital f of x and this polynomial p of x is reducible the same polynomial is reducible in the extension field e which is an extension of f so e is an extension of f and p of x is reducible in capital e so let us take an element which is a root and u be the u be the root u be the root of p of x u be the root of p of x in capital e then obviously then obviously capital f of u becomes a subfield of e it becomes a subfield of e containing capital f containing capital f what it means f is subset to f of u subfield of e means 
subset to capital E such that the dimension of f of u over f is equals to n. Here n is nothing but degree of the polynomial p of x. Degree of the polynomial p of x. Here and one more property is there for this f of u. f of u is subfield of E also generated by f and u. Also generated by f and u. So here th this is the chain of subfields. F is the sub f is the field. It has an extension f of u. It has an extension capital E, and E is also extension of f. So remember that. So the, this theorem is one of the important result to understand the problem some problems and examples. So let us see one example to understand the same statement. Right. Now consider the irreducible polynomial x square plus 1 belongs to R of x. Everybody knows that the polynomial x square plus 1 is irreducible over R because this polynomial has two roots plus R minus I which are complex numbers that does not lies in the set R of x. We assume that u is a root of x square plus 1 in some extension k of R. Then the field R of u, then the field R of u which is defined by the set a plus b u a plus b u such that where a comma b both belongs to capital R contains all the roots of the polynomial x square plus 1. So right given that p of x is x square plus 1 and it has a root u in some extension k of r take k is equals to r of u by our previous uh, result the dimension of r of u over capital r is equals to degree of the polynomial x square plus 1 which is equals to 2. So r of u over r is equals to 2. Now since u is a root of this polynomial x square plus 1 this u is equals to plus r minus i. Since r of u is an extension of r, r of u contains minus u also. Therefore r of u contains all the roots of x square plus 1 by given hypothesis r of u is equals to a plus b u where a comma b belongs to capital R and u is equals to plus r minus i. Here r of u is nothing but the set of all complex numbers containing the roots of x square plus 1. That's it. Let us see one more example to understand the same. Consider the irreducible polynomial x square plus 1 x square plus x plus 1 belongs to z2 of x. Remember that where z2 is nothing but it is a set having only two elements 0 comma 1 and take u is the root of x square plus x plus 1 in some extension k of z2. So right now you let us take p of x is equals to x square plus x plus 1 and z2 is equals to 0 comma 1. It is very clear p of 0 is equals to 1 not equals to 0. p of 1 is equals to 3 not equals to 0. By using previous theorem 1 comma u forms a basis of z2 of u. Now the extension field can be written like this. k or k2 which is also denoted by k which is also denoted by z2 of u which contains 4 elements a plus b u such that a comma b belongs to z2. So now you can write the elements like 0 plus 0 u comma 0 plus 1 u comma 1 plus 0 u comma 1 plus 1 u 1 plus 1 u. It means the set k contains 4 elements 1, 2, 3 and 4. This is the required result. Here also the dimension the set k2 contains four elements that is the required result of our our example also so an extension field here containing four elements over the polynomial over the polynomial ring z2 of x that's it in the next video we learn algebraic extensions uh, some definition algebraic and algebraic extension and one very very important theorem keep learning wish you all the best